My lords, the queen is entering the throne room. My lord, I lean only on my friend. Say, hey, my lord. Your Majesty breaks faith with Spain. Ambassador, you forget yourself. My Lord Lester, it is you who forget yourself. The Spanish ambassador is our guest. Your Grace, we speak for England. Indeed, Your Grace, we do. Who dares to speak for England in my presence? Answer, my Lord Lester, to you. And you, my wise Burley, to you. Well, be silent then whilst I speak for you all. For I am England. And I am the voice of Spain. Continue voice of Spain. My master, His Majesty King Philip. Oh, he introduces me to my own brother-in-law. Reassure your master. My sister Mary, the late queen, was his loving wife. And for her sake, I am his loving sister. His portrait still hangs in a place of honor. My king does not ask your grace to hang his picture, but to hang his enemies. In the last month, English pirates have destroyed some 7,000 tons of our shipping. Names? What do I know of their names? They come and go like wasps, led always by the arch pirate El Draco. <laughs> Sir Francis Drake sailed round the world, and I knighted him for it. Now he harries Spain, and I am to hang him for it. No. If I hang Drake tomorrow, 20 other Drakes would take his place. How can I hold them back when your king flings my honest merchants to the Inquisition to be burned alive? Your grace can at least forbid them to leave England. England is a large island with many ports in it. I will not sit at each in turn like a cat at a mouse hole. But I give Spain free leave to punish my Drake and his captains, if Spain can. Majesty. I say, my lords, if Spain can. <laughs> if your majesty will not hear words, we must come to cannon. And see if you will hear them. If you use threats of that kind, I will chase you out of my kingdom. But, Your Grace, you must listen. Must? Little man, little man. Must is not a word to use to princes. Our council shall confer with you. Meanwhile, go home and be quiet. Let's go. <laughs> 